Ladies and gentlemen, the main event of the evening is about to get underway. Joining myself, Tyler Voles, on the call here for the main event is Matt Cage's best friend, his best rival, Christian Rose. Uh, good evening. Bell has been rang, and we are underway. Opening bell for Matthew Money Cage. I have goosebumps all over my body. I think we all do. I think we all do. And Matt Cage starting off hot, starting with those right hands that have led him to so much success on the independent circuit. Oh, God, yeah, absolutely cool. peppers him and then throws a European uppercut. Like you said, Matt Cage, known for his vicious strikes, the guy that can put you down at any given moment, and that's what he does to Conor Braxton right there with that forearm strike. I'm confident in saying this. I think I know Matt Cage in ring better than anybody. I might know him out of ring better than anybody. We've literally had over, fun fact, useless trivia, over 400 matches involving each wow. other, be it as opponents, be it as head team partners. Reels him out now, hits the neck breaker. And now Cage looking to make short work. Connor Braxton goes for the cover. And, I mean, obviously he wants to go out on top. And he's not going to make any mistakes. Uh, Matt Cage now is infinitely better than he was when I met him. His career has spanned the better part of a decade. He's traveled all across the country. He's wrestled for some of the best promotions in, in the United States today. He's wrestled uh, extensively and held gold for AAW. He's wrestled for Evolve, uh, uh, former champion at Dreamwave as well. The Midwest especially has been very kind to him. But here in Funky Monkey, one could say Matt Cage was always at his best here in Sterling, Illinois at the Latin American Social Club. And it's well documented. Uh, Cage has said it himself, guys. It's not a it's not a hidden thing. He does suffer from depression. He does have a few issues. But professional wrestling is both a source of relief and a source of, of stress for him. But Funky Monkey Wrestling reignited his love and his passion for professional wrestling. Oh! oh! Speaking of reigniting, the chest of Connor Braxton is set on fire by that thudding chop of a, the money. I'm a man who likes to throw him some chops, and that chop was brutal. And now, Christian Rose, like you said, you've been friends, you've been foes, you've been in the ring against each other, you've been on the ring with each other. Yes. You guys have both faced some of the best in the world at what they do. Would you say... Matt Cage is the hardest hitter you've ever been in the ring with. Uh, definitely up there, definitely top three, that's for sure. I've been knocked out on uh, numerous occasions uh, by some of the best wrestlers in the world. I'm proud to say some of the best wrestlers ever have beat my ass, but Matt Cage has beat my ass a lot. And speaking of beating somebody's ass, Cage absolutely taking it to this braggadocious makeup of Connor Braxton. I'm going to talk about a guy that, uh, he's kind of mirrored Matt Cage. You know, a little bit, yeah. And, uh, oh! Into the post, and that's scary. Cage sent face first into that post. Like I said, he's, his career has kind of mirrored Matt Cage's earlier career up to this point. Both men trained at prestigious training schools. Both absolutely. men have wrestled for some of the very best promotions that there is to offer. And both men know how to get people talking about them for all the right reasons. Many consider Connor Braxton to be the hottest young prospect in the game. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. You can't argue with that. Like, Braxton, uh, you, you can disagree with his uh, oh. associations, his liaisons, if you will, with, with managerial types. But the guy has every tool possible to succeed in professional wrestling. He's a gifted athlete uh, and just very smart. And right now, he's proven that he can take a beating because his chest is already welted up, guys. Oh, God! Oh! There's that forearm strike yet again, playing the difference maker. Connor Braxton sent crashing to the floor. Matt Cage. Matt Cage asking for the ring bell and the hammer. Oh, no. And it is, you this have is to, a no-holds-barred match. Yes, this is a no-holds-barred, anything-goes contest. Deadlift in the big man up. Oh, oh, God! Did you see his neck reel on that shot? Guys, that, that was in the mouth. Oh, oh God. Don't do this. Ah! Malt, malt, malt. Connor Braxton now suffers from tinnitus. And it's not enough if you've already caved in his chest and chopped him up into smithereens. Now you've given him tinnitus. Ah, oh, don't do it again. 
One more time for the good time. Cage raising it up, getting it good and dangerous in here. Zishi's at a loss on the outside. She just sprinted about 40 feet away. Which is probably a good oh God, oh. Braxton though. Oh, backbreaker on the ring apron. And uh, uh, Tyler, I think that maybe as inappropriate as it is, now is as good as time as any to mention. It is health reasons that has forced Matt Cage to retire. He has several issues with his neck and his spine, especially. Uh, uh, as someone who knows him very, very well, it's frightening to hear him talk about how he loses his arms during his matches. He can't. He, he, he goes numb in his extremities. It's it's very frightening to see something like that happen. Uh, like 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 that backbreaker. Oh no 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 no! no. Zishi now holding that bell right over his bald head. Oh, oh my God! Five stars him across the stomach. But I mean, if you're Connor Braxton, you know you can go for broke here because he's not coming back for vengeance any other time soon. Oh. Into the post again. The or head injuries. Again, for that the head injuries. The neck injuries. All of these things have piled up for, for Matt Cage. And right now, Connor Braxton has taken firm control of this contest. Cage started I, I, off I, hot and heavy. I, I think Matt Cage may have just spit beer in his face from a fan. Oh, God, it has him hooked up. Oh, suplexes the big man, got underneath of him, hooks him on the floor like a big bag of walnuts. And even though there is a little bit of padding on that floor where he, where he suplexed him, Guys, that doesn't make it any hurt, yeah, hurt no, any no, less. No, that's for the aesthetics. I assure you, that padding is not good. <laughs> Finally, though, tossing him back in the ring. Now Matt Cage going up top. Cage this all might the way up be top. a mistake. This is something this I've might never. Be a huge mistake. I've never really seen Matt Cage take to the top ropes like this, but I know what he's looking for here. Paying homage to one of the oh. idols of his career. That diving elbow drop. Only gets the two. Matt Cage says it all the time. The match that made him fall in love with wrestling was Savage and Flair at exactly, WrestleMania 8. Exactly. That was what ignited his passion. And that's what's gotten him to this point. I would also like to say there was a time when Matt Cage was a bit more of a flyer than he is now. And useless trivia. Once upon a time, he hit me with the frog splash. And then afterwards said he would never do that maneuver again because of the damage that it was doing to his body. Drop down now. Best leg lariat in the business. He's literally won matches with the leg lariat. Guys, I gotta be honest with you, I'm gonna throw out a lot of useless Matt Cage trivia during this match. Speaking of Matt Cage, keep your eyes on him. Suicide dive. Low level Tope Suicida, and now he whips Connor Braxton back into the ring. But Braxton, oh, no. very smart, or I don't know. Oh, he's not smart at I all. might be wrong, yeah, there it is not. again. Cage with that heat seeking missile one more time. Ah, and he gives, he gives Devin Cutter sitting on the stage. If you look around the Latin American Social Club right now, you see every face that was in that locker room tonight is out here watching this match because that, that is the amount of respect that everybody has for Matt Cage. It is so rare to see a competitor influence literally everyone that they come into contact with. But Matt Cage has done this. Oh no, oh no, now has Connor Braxton strung out on a table. If you're on that side, please get out of the way. Guys, if, you, if you're there, you need to move. It's no holds barred, it's his last match. He's gonna do something stupid. Cage has his arm cocked. Cage has your friend, I'm begging you, don't. Cactus Jack, elbow drop by Cage. Good God. Matt Cage is going to do whatever it takes to walk out of here. This, his last match, his last night as a professional wrestler, he's going to do whatever it takes, including putting his body on the line for the business that he loves to walk out with that victory. He's going to do whatever it takes, and he's going to do whatever he wants. They can't fire him. He's already fired. Going up top yet again, taking a lot of risks. Cross body. And now goes for the counter. out of him in years. 
only able to get the two. Matt Cage in firm control of this contest yet again. And now Braxton is in the wrong part of town. We've seen Cage hit Guys, this two times. Bra Braxton's young, he doesn't understand. Like, Matt Cage is gonna keep, oh, oh, he caught him. He caught oh, him in the air. Did you see that look? Oh, oh the headbutt by Connor Braxton absolutely levels Matt Cage. I mean, guys, let's be honest, like, he may be a cruiserweight, but Matt Cage is not what I would call a small man. And Connor Braxton just caught him. I was about to comment that he's not learning from his past mistakes. He clearly is. That was amazing. Connor Braxton using every bit of that 245 pound frame He's of solid muscle to catch Matt Cage on that dive. Oh God, Cage driven face first. He's a big man. Connor Braxton is a big man. He moves like someone, uh, I would say a third of his size really. Would you say 240? And he moves like someone well under 200 pounds. And now Braxton. This, this match has been a game of teeter-totter so far. Every time one man gets the advantage, the other man does something and is able to cut them off and get the advantage themselves. It's been very evenly paced and very evenly matched so far. Braxton now goes to whip Cage in the oh, corner no, with authority. No, no, oh, no, God. No. Guys, we, we, we in the industry as competitors and we as fans, we take it for granted. Those turnbuckles don't move. And, and it is things like that is con that has contributed to Matt Cage's decision to walk away from professional wrestling. Literally just getting thrown into the turnbuckles. I know this for fact has caused him to lose feeling in his arms. It's a, it's a very emotional match to watch, but at the same time, it's, it is frightening. Kangaroo kick though. Cage doing what he does best. However, Braxton with the reversal, scoops him up, scoop, and, and a side slam. Down for the cover. Cage able to kick out at two. Braxton showing a little bit of frustration on his face there, Christian Rose. Oh, absolutely. I mean, if you're Connor Braxton, you're so physically and athletically gifted, and you're wrestling someone that has been, I'm not trying to sound sour, and as much as it's a good point, I'm trying to sound sour, you're Connor Braxton, and you're wrestling someone that has been broken down by the better part of a decade of professional wrestling. You should get frustrated when you can't put someone away that quickly. You should get frustrated. Like, this this is Cage's last match. Anything that Connor Braxton does to him could end this match. Not even counting, uh, oh, there it is. Hitting the ropes, duck the line. Drop kick from the big man. Down for the cover now. Cage kicks out at two. The life of a professional wrestler takes such a wear and tear on your body, and it's not just the what we endure in ring. Only just speaking for myself personally, I have been in a car with Matt Cage for hundreds of thousands of miles of travel, and and weeks and months of sleeping in parking lots and sleeping on floors, and all these other things that cumulatively take an, an incredible toll on your physical well-being. Connor Braxton, like, and this is not a knock on him, he hasn't experienced it. He's not at that point. He's several years Matt Cage's junior. He's uh, the better part of a foot taller, probably 40 to 50 pounds heavier, and is healthy. But, you know, I'm not trying to make it uncomfortable. Let's call a spade a spade. Matt Cage is retiring. The injuries. Like you said, Christian Rose have piled up. And Braxton is in firm control yet again. And I'm trying very hard not to, oh no, no, not back to that table. Oh! Driving him back first onto that previously broken table. Oh my God. And referee Coin Jones, like, let's be honest. Coin Jones is a good friend of Matt Cage. He's a good friend of mine. He's a good friend of yours. He doesn't want to, he really does need to think about the well-being of Matt Cage after this is over. We don't want to talk about it, but there is life after professional wrestling. And if he keeps taking a beating like this, his life after he leaves this industry is not going to be very happy. Cage, Cage's 
He's trying to wiggle that hand, trying to get some feeling back into his, his uh, feeling back into his body. It's Trying to buy himself some time, but Braxton stalking his prey and now choking him, putting the boot directly across the throat. Yet again, this is a no holds barred match. Anything goes. The, the referee is only there to signal for a submission for the count of three. Absolutely. But at what point? I know, I know Coin Jones will not do this because of the respect he has for Matt Cage, but at what point does the referee's discretion come into play? Wait, 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 wait. Charging in hot. Big smash in the corner. Tyler, I gotta be honest with you, watching this, there's, there is a part of me that feels guilty for all the years that me and Matt Cage beat on each other. And, man. I've known Matt Cage for a very long time. I've called virtually, I would consider half of the matches of his career. I have never seen him in the state that he's in right now. Oh, oh, able to get oh, the boot oh. up. Maybe there's some fight baiting left. Him in, baiting him in. Fight left in the old dog. Top him, top him. Crawl, crawl. Cage takes him off his feet, wipes him out with that European uppercut. And I'm trying to be as, bi as unbiased as I possibly can be. But Cage, crawl for the cover. Get the cover on him. Come on, Cage. Come on. Guys, it took me almost seven years to get one victory over this man. Imagine what it'll do for the career and the life of Connor Braxton if he can actually pull off what I would consider a huge upset. Absolutely. Cage willing himself back up to his feet. Catches Braxton with a forearm. Making it two in a row now. Braxton stumbling around. Cage. Oh, don't. You don't want to be there. I've been there a million times. Five knuckles right across the jaw. And now Cage going to springboard in. Tornado DDT. on the top of his head. And now that 245 pound, 245 pound frame of Connor Braxton is to his disadvantage on that Tornado DDT. A That's a lot down of down weight to come down on, the, on top of the dome and on, the, on his neck. Cage trying to load the big man up, looking for that money clip. Braxton finds out the back door, shoves him off. Oh God, Braxton has him. Might be looking for a Widowmaker. No, Cage reverses. Here it Golden comes. Golden Gate swing. Golden Gate swing. He hasn't done it in a while. Bank roll. Moss covered three-handled credenza, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Matt Cage almost put away Connor Braxton with that one. I'm going to call it a thing that he dumped me with thousands of times, I'm sure. Connor Braxton there right now, he's really. And guys, even, even when he is taking a beating, Cage is so smart. Think about everything he's done in the last several minutes. He's headhunting the big man. I don't think he's looking for a submission. I think he's looking for a Clock him on the head with the Oh. Club and weigh in his back. Oh, God. I think he's looking for a ripcord. Ripcord into a oh. knee. And again, that's what I'm saying. Oh, God, here it comes. Here it comes. Low, Low level. level. Braxton catches the boot. Spins oh. around. Spinning heel kick. Cage is reaching deep into his 2010 bag of tricks here. Now Cage shoves him into the ropes. Oh, he got Sky him Sky high! Cage does it's the done. deal! It's done! Braxton able to kick out! Hey, I'm, one, I'm impressed that the stage in this match, all things considered, he got a big man that high off that, off that mat. Oh, God. Braxton's in a bad way. And now Cage. Everyone. Oh, oh no, 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 no! Oh! No, 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 no. Spine buster on the floor. Coin, 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 coin. Please, please, please check him. Please check him. Almost a, a black hole slam of sorts. Braxton. Yet again, just like that, gut wrench. Gut wrench. Oh, into a oh. No, into a cutter! Oh God, Connor Braxton has him down! Cage kicks out! Back and forth, back and forth they go. Cage is down. What's... 
let's let's take personal bias aside. Let's think about this. Well, Braxton just sends Ishii to the back. That cage has been a state. Oh. Oh no! Oh no! No no! Cage has been a staple of the Midwest independent scene for almost a decade. Braxton could cement his legacy, but is he gonna do it with a? I I know that it's no holds barred. I get that, but. Oh, Cage catches it. Caught it. Might have absorbed a little bit of it. Caught it. A little bit of a tough war here. Cage boots him. Oh! Guts him with the bat. Oh, no, Cage. Matt Cage has it. Matt, Matt, oh, he's Matt, Matt, Matt. Cage is calling his shot. Up. He's going to brain him. Oh, God. Him. Oh, he boots Ishii directly into the corner. Right in his stupid little gut. Nobody home on that home run swing. Oh! oh, Braxton! Puts the bat across. Oh, God. No. No! Bat across no, the spine. No, no. Not like this. Cage kicks out. Cage kicks out. Cage able to kick out. I was going to say, any way besides that, you don't need to resort to that kind of tactic, regardless of if this match is no holds barred. Braxton wants to beat him, beat him like a better man. Don't use a baseball bat to your advantage. Cage with the wherewithal to kick out. Wait a minute, wait a minute. That little weasel Zeesh is back in the ring. Uh, he's got the knuckle duster. He's got the knucks. Cage lifeless. Braxton picking him up. Holding him up. Zeesh going for it, no! Oh! Caught him right in the chest, I think. Oh! oh! Oh, that was in the back of the head! That was in the back of the <laughs> stupid head! Oh god, Cage! Keep your eyes on Cage! He has see she hoisted up! Pops him! Oh, oh! Money Clip! In the iconic words of Eddie Kingston, you still do that thing where you pop me up and punch me in the face? <laughs> Braxton just got clipped oh. right in the chest plate. Oh, God. Zishi might be dead. Oh, he's for sure dead, and now Cage. Wait, Cage has the knuckle duster. This is bad news from Connor Braxton. That right hand is devastating enough, as is, let alone when it's laced in lead. Oh, and Mr. We Deal in lead. Discus right hand puts him down. Braxton oh. able to kick out. Wow. Look, let's, let's be honest, we, we, we don't want to be, but we're biased in this contest. But that was still, that's very impressive. I've seen Matt Cage win matches with that punch with just his hand, let alone with a set of nuts on it. Cage. Cage is in a world of pain right now. Cage walking to the back. I, I don't know, like, look, I don't know what he's doing, but he's not big because he won't. Matt Cage is oh, an artist. He's got the equalizer. He's an artist, and now he's got a very large metal brush. That solid steel chair being introduced into the fray. I know him better than anybody, guys. He puts on a tough outer shell, but Matt Cage is hurt. And Cage throws a huge haymaker. The only thing keeping Connor Braxton up is that top rope. Connor Braxton might have the toughest brain in professional wrestling. He's taken several dozen of these shots, a myriad of other things, and that punch with the knucks, and he's, albeit via the ropes, but he is still on his feet. Cage goes with Muffin for accident with a reversal. Oh, oh, drop to a whole face first into the chair. No, 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 no. Not just into the chair, but it looked like it was into the lip of the chair. Easily the edge of it, I'm sure. That, that raised edge off the mat. Cage face first into it. Cage may be too proud to admit that he's beat. Connor Braxton may be too young to admit that he's hurt. Not 
nothing good comes out of this for anybody. We've seen Braxton. So all wind and tears. We've, oh, we've no. seen him hit that cutter no, no, already. No, no. Looking for it. No cage. Dosey goes around, no, 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 spinning no, no. back fist. Oh, that's in a bad way. Disc gets oh, a punch to the back of the head. The head again. Oh, no. I know Cage has a plan, but he honestly may need to deviate from it right now. The head hunting's not working. It's not working. Oh, no. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? No, no. What fresh hell is this? Cage sizing it up. Pile driver through the chair. Oh, my God. Cage feeling the effects. Braxton feeling the effects. Get him out of the ropes. And Braxton, Braxton yet again kicks out. And Cage cannot believe it. Matt Cage is beside himself. I can't believe it, Christian Rose. He's too young and too proud to admit that he's hurt. Connor Braxton's going to have an amazing career in professional wrestling, but he just lost several months of it because of that. But that, that goes to show what this match means to Connor Braxton. The chair broke. The chair broke. So much weight coming down, all of it focused on top of Connor Braxton's head. And the faithful Cage here. For the low level. Faithful here. Oh, wait, and Sterling wait. getting behind him. Cage. Cage looking for that money oh, shot. Man, caught him. Cage looking money shot. Braxton has him hoisted. What the hell? Gorilla presses Hoisting him back up. onto the shoulders. F5! F5 oh! right on the dome. The and career is over. Whoa! Oh! Cage able to kick out yet again. I can't believe this. Matt Cage is willing to live the rest of his life in agony to win one match. The next 60, 70, 80 years of your life for three seconds. That's Braxton. Calling his shot. I spoke about it earlier. This is where it gets scary. Cage man, I love you, but he can't stand it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Cage catches it. Trips him up. Here it is. Low level, Low level super kick. Flatliner. Drops him on his face again. Who better than the money? And he's feeling Cage. it. Cage top him. No, no, no. This is the mistake. Cage calling his shot. Telling Braxton to get back up to his feet. Cage. Oh, oh gets wiped out. Big boot to the face. It is mouth. Hooks the line. Cage. Down, no cage, able to kick out yet again. Peel wow. his face off. The loss for words right now, Christian Rose. I can't believe this. Can't agree with the crowd more. This is awesome. Bad back cage matches are few and far between, but he is definitely going to go out on a high note. Win, lose, or draw. You know, I don't think draw is an option here, but still. Uh oh. That is one of the most ultimate signs of disrespect that paintbrush and slap. That's pretty disrespectful. Oh, no. Cage, cage, please. Just check your pride. Check your pride. Again. He won't admit it, but he can't win this. At this point, he can't. Look at him. He's not even standing. He's leaning on the reverse. So Muff, no cage with the reversal. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. wait. Big man. Slow to the outside. Oh, huge lumber oh, shot. Oh, another shot to the head. Cage, cage, please. You have to admit you cannot do this. Springboard by Braxton. Oh! oh! Able to catch him with a flatliner of sorts. And now, has him up on the shoulders. Money clip! Money clip by Cage! Two, three, no! Braxton able to kick out. 
Braxton got nothing on that springboard. You don't see him do that very often. And the money clip has put away countless professional wrestlers, myself included. That, but today it was not enough. The wall bats aren't enough, steel chairs aren't enough, pile drivers aren't enough. So many men have been put down by that maneuver. Leading up to when he defeated you for the Dreamwave Championship. You're talking about Mustafa Ali, Johnny Gargano, Chris Sabin, Chris Hero. God. Cage is an emotional person, and I I think this is a case of his emotions getting the best of him. Connor Braxton is showing wisdom beyond his years. Oh! That's right, that haymaker! Oh, that was in the ear, I think. Knocked off his equilibrium, and now Cage kicks out the oh, knee. Oh, hey, I sold that. Braxton crashing face first into the knee of Matt Cage and the way he had that knee positioned up. That's one of the sharpest tools that you can use on your body. Your knee and your elbow, and Cage uses both of the so good at fading people in. Now might be looking for another money clip. Spread them dollar dollar up. bills. Can't believe. Money oh. clip by Cage. Reels into the ropes. Does Braxton, oh, no, Braxton. Wait. Braxton, F5, F5 yet again. Cage creating some distance. The money clip. Here comes that boo one more time. Wiping him out. Matt Cage is down. Braxton hooks the leg. Cage able to kick out yet again. Emotions are running high in this building from the front row all the way into the nosebleeds, I guess you'd call them. But no one right now is more emotional, I think, than Matt Cage, and that's what's driving him to do this. But at the same time, that's what's driven him to this point. How many times can the man get hit before it's enough? And here we go. The faithful here in Sterling getting behind the Wait money. a minute, wait a minute. Braxton's loading the boot. He's got that knuckle duster back. He just put it on the tip of his boot. Oh God. It's not necessary, it's not necessary. He's trying to force it on. Braxton goes through it. Nobody home, it goes flying. Flying. Oh, oh forearm strike. Pops up. Oh, that pump kick and by again. Braxton. And again. He's just going to keep. Oh, turn him inside out. No. It's, uh, it's done. That's it.